65 miles southeast of Nashville, Tennessee at a state park that's called Stone Fort Archaeological State Park. It's a beautiful place out here in Manchester, Tennessee. They say this is a natural rock formation. What do you think? You think it's a rock formation? place was called Blue Hole. It's a pretty uh, deep blue hole there in the middle of the river. The cliff here is a little bit challenging. A little sketch. But it sure is pretty. Right? Yeah, this trail's getting interesting. There's a couple of sketchy parts ahead of me, but I'm gonna go for it. Ready?
Now there's a lot of theory, but no fact about these walls here behind me. A lot of speculation from a lot of people. The science community has different ideas than other people that are in the public, so. All I know is these ruins here were here before the Native Americans. This is a very big archeological site in Tennessee. Uh, but they uh, don't want to, uh, I don't want to say, they don't want to upset the narrative. So they stick to a hypothesis from 1966, which was based on speculation and not fact. But yeah, it's really amazing that this is still here. Regardless to say it's thousands and thousands of years old. And I'm always amazed to see stuff like this. It's incredible. Regardless of what you think, just entering this this area here is pretty magical. It definitely was a special place. You know, there's a lot more to this story than what we've been told. A lot of you probably never even heard of this place. Anyways, I'm kind of excited to be here. Let's go see what else we explore. Talk to you soon. Aloha. Mm -hmm.
really an amazing city. Now I hear what appears to be a third set of falls coming up ahead. This is pretty cool. All these little staircases of waterfalls. How does that song go? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't laugh. Come on, that was kind of funny. I wonder what this stuff is out here in the river. Pretty amazing whatever this place is or was. I'm stoked that it's preserved. Places like this need to be preserved. We just gotta use places like this to realize that we know very little about this world. Keep people in check. Now I kind of know the story of the Mississippians. In a previous episode I talked to you guys a bit about it. And I said how the uh, Anutani chiefs left the Mississippians and mound builders to form their own community. And their followers, they named the Cherokee. And they came after the Mississippians and uh, during that time the Mississippians and mound builders their culture crumbled to nothing and very indicative as to what's going on now so sometimes we just have to stop look around appreciate what we have enjoy life it's meant to be enjoyed it's not meant to be bickering or angry just Stick to your beliefs and allow other people the freedom to have their beliefs. And as long as their beliefs don't interfere with your rights, there's no problem. But don't let the uh, programming of the elites mainstream media change your way of thinking. Because that's what they do. They, they change events and stories to elicit results 
to go about change that benefits only them. So let's all just love each other. Enjoy the planet, let's take care of it. If you're ever out hiking, also remember to pack your trash. I hate it when I see trash. It's just like someone so disre disrespectful to Mother Earth. So yeah. Anyways, hopefully, uh, anyways, hopefully, hope you, anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of this, because I sure am. Talk to you soon. Well, I'll tell you what, if I was a bit younger, I'd be going down some of these goat trails. I'm sure there's some really scenic parts of the river down there, but it's just, uh, I have to be pretty brave to go down there. Yeah, I'm pretty far from a doctor. Good excuse, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, this is great. I just want to say thanks a lot for joining me on this trip. You know, we're about halfway done now, and I um, just want to ask you if you can please subscribe to my channel means a great deal and uh, I don't want you to miss any more things that are coming up because there's some really special videos planned in the near future so don't miss out hit that subscribe button I'll wait for you got it good job okay let's go Now supposedly there's some mounds that are built really close to here. And this uh, place in the center here has a huge six to eight foot wall that's built all the way around it. And it's uh, over the years been covered by soil and debris. But uh, inside there's some uh, rocks that are like monoliths. And uh, they uh, form a triangle which points to the summer solstice which happens on June 21st. So that must be a real high energy day here when the sun pops up that early morning. It's kind of like a Nashville or Tennessee's version of Stonehenge. Pretty cool stuff. You wouldn't even believe this is here. I don't believe it. Beautiful place, man. Thanks for joining me. Hey, I know I'm the first one to come down here today anyway, because there's cobwebs blocking the path so that's when you know that no one has come through recently it's when you're walking through cobwebs gotta check yourself though for spiders and I was told to watch out for snakes around here so keep my eyes open for those too I'd probably see them on a rock or in the water because they're like water snakes anyways this is where the trails lead me
Now, if you can believe it, I'm getting pretty tired. Not necessarily tired, just hot. The humidity is starting to kick in. It's about 90 degrees out here with 150% humidity. So yeah, definitely a great place for the fall, spring months. Summer's rough. Plus, not to mention I got mosquitoes everywhere. I put repellent on, but I probably sweated it all off. So yeah, good times. Sure is beautiful here though. Hey guys, I just uh, finished my hike at Old Stone Fort Archaeological State Park in Tennessee and it was completely amazing. I'm coming back. Um, it's my first venture here and I was more uh, in tune to just like see it, experience it and share it with you guys. So next time I come back we'll probably be with somebody and we'll go swimming and jumping through the waterfalls but today was just uh get to know the park day and yeah it was incredible i got there early in the morning and there was hardly anyone there maybe a couple cars in the parking lot and when i went into the park it was like i was alone there and it was amazing just cruising around i was able to take a lot of pictures and uh i'll put some on my instagram and my facebook so please be sure to subscribe to that and uh anyways Thanks for watching my show, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed some of the images that I made. I don't even know what the footage is going to look like yet. Hopefully amazing. I'm pretty uh, pretty jazzed about this place, though. It's a very uh, unique place, and I'm coming back. Left onto US 41 North. Okay, so I guess that's about it for now. I got about a 70-mile drive home, so I'll be editing tonight. Hopefully you'll be seeing this soon. Be sure to subscribe. Take care. Aloha. Take the next left onto US 41 North.